running pals you've joined me on my morning walk in Greenwich Park um, I have a mask in my pocket but I'm staying away from people so hopefully I won't have to use it um, just thought I'd come on and talk to you a bit about my goals for the year and Veganuary we'll start with Veganuary so I'm doing Veganuary this year and I also did it last year and really really enjoyed it so I'm really excited to be doing it again and I thought it might be useful I know there's loads of really good vegan runners out there so please listen to them and watch their videos but if you're not usually following a vegan diet I thought it might be useful to kind of talk about what it's like being a runner and doing veganuary and how you can get the most of it and some food ideas that you might like and yeah so I did the full month of veganuary last year and I had a really good time and I was able to keep running um, this year I'm actually injured I'm gonna give my ankles a week off running um, but I'm still spinning so I can still a test of it now that there's no impact on fitness from doing veganuary last year I did the full month while running and it was fine and um, the first week I was a tiny bit tired but that was because all I really did was take out the non-vegan products from my diet and didn't replace them with anything so I just wasn't eating as much <laughs> and so last year I figured that out after week one and I just like made some really good meal plans and had all I needed in terms of veganuary then I had some great meals and I was full of energy full of like it didn't affect my running at all I tried out loads of things that I had actually throughout 2020 so that was really good I loved veganuary oh uh, yeah and the whole year of 2020 was really a lot more like uh, a lot less meat and a lot fewer dairy products so it definitely had a really good impact and I really enjoyed it and it didn't affect my running and this year it's the same so while I'm not running for a week I was running up until like today and energy was all fine and I'm spinning still I'm doing like a spin class at least every day and loads of workouts still being really active and I'm not seeing any dip in energy so if you haven't already started for January you could start it like midway through the month you could like do vegetarian or vegan February whatever just you haven't like missed the boat you're all good and you should definitely do it I'm gonna show you some meal ideas now for what I've done um basically I just pick things I like I really like veg and fruit so I've had some like meat replacements but I actually prefer like veg so the curry I'll show you that I've made is my favorite I had it like every fortnight basically throughout the whole of last year um, but also I had some other bits and I'm still having treats so I'll show you them if you want to know what to eat in terms of diet please go and look at nutritionists and things like that for veganism because I don't know enough about it to try and lecture you on what to have but just try and get foods with protein in I think beans are good but as I said please <laughs> There are better sources than me. I just want to attest that. I really love veganuary and it actually is fine for running. Um, so yeah. Right, here are some of my meals. So this is a salad I've been having. I would have it with croutons, but the croutons didn't arrive in the shop. Um, I have it with a mixed bean salad, half a jar per lunch. And also Pizza Express house dressing has a vegan version. So good, oh, it's so good. Um, so with this, I had some bread because I didn't have the croutons, but I had cherry tomatoes as well and a little orange. I also had this, which is a granola that doesn't have honey in, and these, which are basically like vegan Maltesers. They were fine. They were fine. Yeah, there's an idea. Um, this is a Beyond Meat burger, which I had with lots of ketchup and some fried mushrooms and veg, and the bun is also vegan brioche it was very very good such a good replacement meat get beyond meat and here's my curry i was talking about those are the spices i'll use um i just have onion garlic as well i've got peanut butter in the sauce um and it's basically a base of 
um, cauliflower, but also I have chickpeas, coconut milk. There's some mixed peppers in there that you can see. Um, just all of that mixed together with the spices and the peanut butter. The coconut milk provides like the sauce and some rice. Here's me cooking it all up. Oh, it looks so good. And I have a portion waiting for me because this makes two portions. Um, there's my rice. My hob is dirty. I'm sorry. Um, but this does me two portions, so I still have the other portion in the fridge. Can't wait. And here's the finished product. Oh, looks so good. Literally. Okay, now let's do some vegan baking. This is oat milk with a bit of vinegar in. You'll find the recipe below and some sugar. And you don't need eggs for this recipe, but it makes amazing cupcakes. It's crazy. Um, so just flour. That's my vanilla sugar I use. Um, and you can see some oil as well. Got to have the lovely fats. <laughs> um, mix it all together. And I added some sprinkles in mine because they weren't made with beeswax. So I could have them. Put it all into the tray. All looks good. I love rainbow sprinkles in cupcakes. Does anyone else? It's like a birthday cake in America is what they call it, but I just, I don't know, I love it. And there they are in the oven, rising. Uh, baking powder in there as well. And there's the finished product. Very yummy. Okay, I also want to talk a bit about my goals for the year. So as I said, I'm currently gonna have a week off running because um, of my ankles feeling a bit weird. Um, and since we've got to the new year and like I was um, so last year I had like a mileage goal that I was trying to reach 2020 miles and I hit that um, and like and I had other goals in mind like marathon um, my sub 25k as you know for this year but oh since we've got to the new year I've kind of gone off it a bit and I'm not entirely sure what my goals are going to be which is hard, but I'm hoping some of you can re relate and like help me out. So marathons, I still don't know what the status of the world's gonna be like. So marathon times and half marathon times, there's not really any point planning too much. And Boston, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be in it or not, or if I need to work to try and re-qualify again because they're not counting our qualifying times. So I don't know, I'm not marathon training basically. Right now I'm just running for fitness and like keeping in shape. Um, so that's that. And also my sub 25K, like, right. When I was peak closeness to my sub 25K was when I was running home from work 5K plus every day intervals with my friends and an interval session every week long runs um doing hills I, I do hills now but like it was a specified session um with friends and i did barry's boot camp as well which is like sprints when i was doing all of that i was very close to getting my sub 25k but now to get to that level of fitness like at the time all of that was so so fun so it's not like it felt hard but now that i'm just relying on myself to get myself out it's not like easy at all so it's kind of like i have to have all that motivation to get out just to run in the first place let alone doing like intervals so i'm kind of like how <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna get the sub 25k because i just don't all those building blocks I could simulate them but the amount of work it would take is just not like oh it doesn't seem worth it I don't know if anyone else could relate but like I would love to get us up 25k but I want to be able to do it and like park run for example like I have to now go out for a tempo session of a week to like replicate what park run would be whereas before it was just there I just did park run as a fun time and I did a long run with a group and it was great fun and I ran home from work and I had to get home from work anyway whereas now it's like I guess I'll go out for a run I don't know when I'm gonna do I know I said I was gonna do this up 25k but I honestly I'm not feeling great at the moment in terms of running and motivation and it just seems like I won't go too too deep into it but I'm just not feeling great 
um, generally, mentally about the state of the world, not just COVID, just how the world's gonna be. So the last thing I'm thinking about is like running goals, but I want to reassure you, I'm still running. I know I'm injured, but I will run again soon. And I'm spinning to keep my fitness up and I will have running goals again. I think it's just not a great time for it. So let me know if you agree and you're also not really having any running goals at the moment. I lied, I do have a goal for when it's safe to travel. Um, I'm gonna go to some trails and start trail running because I got these for Christmas. Woo, trail shoes. These are the ones I had when I did my first trail race. So I'm really excited that I've got these. But let's hope for a really great 2021. I want to be fit. I want to hopefully in the latter half of the year stuff will start happening again even if it's just being able to run outside with friends so I can do that and then we'll start thinking about goals but until then I'll bring you more videos with updates anything fun I do um thanks to new subscribers welcome and thanks for watching bye also how cool is this I didn't commission it, don't worry, I don't think I'm like a brand. Um, but my dad made this for me himself. It was amazing. Um, he knows I do videos and he's done this. So I've got my favorite medals up and I have room for other majors and things like that. But how amazing is that, that he made that for me?